In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between quarters, $1 coins, bills, and laundry cards. I've been in the laundromat business for 20 plus years, and over the years, the laundromat business has evolved from only quarters to dollar coins to laundry cards. Until we started our third to fourth store, I never really realized how heavy and how time consuming quarters was. Inconvenient, quarters are dirty and they weigh a ton. When dealing with a quarter operated or dollar coin operated store, you have these to contend with. They only hold so many coins. If they get full, your machines aren't gonna work any longer for customers. They're not gonna take coins, they're not gonna run, which means if this happens on a Sunday, you have no choice. You're gonna have to get up, stop doing what you're doing and go take care of your customers because they depend on you to have the machines running. Here are some of the changers that we've taken out of some of our stores because we have gone hard only at our locations. Some of the problems we've encountered, the hoppers will break, you'll get coins jammed, somehow inevitably you'll get a bent coin in here or a coin that's a foreign coin, or sometimes the bottom of the hoppers will actually bust and you'll have a mess inside your coin changer. We've had this happen on a busy Sunday. The store's completely packed, full of customers. They're anxious to get their quarters, get their machines going. You're gonna have to open the change machine, clean it out, try to get it going to at least get one side going and hopefully you'll get that done. We've had cases where we've had to leave bags full of quarters with the attendant. And unfortunately, that's not a fail proof. It's not to say, Someone's not gonna miscount, someone's not gonna stick quarters in their pocket, that does happen. So what we did after a few times of having things happen to us, we actually bought extra hoppers. So when one would break, we would have an extra one available when we would send them off to standard to get fixed. One thing we've encountered with dealing with quarters or $1 coins, you cannot increase your prices by 10 cents, 15 cents, you have to increase them. For example, with quarters, you have to go up in increments of 25 cents. With $1 coins, you have to go up in increments of $1. Once you raise your prices by 25 cent increments or $1 increments, customers are gonna know immediately. They have a budget they have to go by. They want to know what you're charging. With card, you're able to raise them slowly as to not quote unquote sticker shock your customers. I wanna give different examples of what the weights and amounts are of quarters, dollar coins, one dollar bills, fives, tens, and twenties, and how much you would have to have of each one to equal $1,000. I am going to start off talking about how much a box of 200 cards weigh. This is a brand new packaged set of cards that we received. This weighs 2.55 pounds. Here we have a quarter. The weight of this quarter is 5.67 grams or 0.2 ounces. It takes 4,000 quarters to equal $1,000. $1,000 worth of quarters weighs a whopping 50 pounds. Imagine you're going through your laundromat on a busy day, you have a large store or a small store, whatever size, and you have two of these buckets, which isn't a lot, but this is just for example. These weigh 50 pounds each approximately, give or take. Some laundromat owners are requested to roll their quarters before they turn them into their bank, which is absolutely crazy to me. It takes 100 rolls of quarters to equal $1,000 worth of quarters. We've talked about how much quarters weigh. Now I'm gonna talk about how much $1,000 worth of $1 coins weigh. $1,000 of these weigh 17.857 pounds, which if you're doing all $1 coins, that gets very heavy very fast. How many ones does it take to make $1,000? Well, the answer to that's pretty simple. I mean, 1,000, very simple. How much does $1,000 worth of ones weigh? 
The answer to that is only 2.2 pounds. The downside to any type of money, whether it be coin or paper money, it's very, very dirty. So you've got your customers in there dealing with nice clean clothes and they're handling quarters and bills. How many fives equals $1,000? The answer to that is very simple, 200. How many tens equal $1,000? The answer to that's very simple as well, 100. Well, most people aren't lucky enough to have 10 pounds of $20 bills. Obviously this isn't near that amount. How much money would you have if you had 10 pounds worth of $20 bills? $90,900. How many $20 bills does it take to make $1,000? The answer to that is 50. I've gone over the weight of quarters, dollar coins, all different types of bills, one fives, tens, and twenties, and even our laundry cards. Laundry cards are as simple as having a credit card, slide it in your wallet and go. They actually even weigh equal or less to than a $1 coin or a quarter. We have gone to LaundryWorks, the card system. We absolutely love it. Our customers love it. At first, you'll have a few customers that will be iffy, a few employees that will be iffy. Over time, not a long period of time, just a few days, customers will start to realize the convenience of being able to slide this card into their wallet. They instantly become loyal to you. They might come and put $40 on the card and still have 18, which is gonna hopefully guarantee they return to your laundromat, not the laundromat around the corner. One thing that we absolutely love and our customers, our employees absolutely love, if we do have an internet issue, which sometimes it does happen, these cards will still work on your machines, work perfectly. The only thing that you won't be able to do is use a credit card to load up your card. They can still come and load these cards up just like an old school changer. Put your money in the kiosk, add your value, to whatever you want. At our stores, for every $20 cash, we do give $2 free. There are times around Christmas that we do send money straight to their card and email them and say, Merry Christmas, thanks for being a great and loyal customer. In conclusion, this is as close to passive income as far as dealing with money as you will come. Cards are lightweight, coins are heavy and dirty. Dollars aren't very clean either, but as you see, they're very lightweight, easy to maneuver in and out of your store with card or coin. And this is something you'll need to do multiple times throughout the day or carry hand sanitizer because money is just absolutely filthy. White soap turning to brown. Yuck. Hopefully this video has helped you make your decision on whether to go card or coin. Many people email me or call me asking me my opinion as to why we have gone card. We've gone card because it's simple, convenient, and like I say, it's close to passive income as far as dealing with money as you can come. If you have found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon on the next video.